Good morning guys, hope you're well. Today I'm in Dustone Reservoir, which is the north of the Peak District. And I'm here because I'm coming to see Thomas Heaton in his night with Gary Gott. Um, I've also brought another fellow vlogger along with me, who you may recognise, and if you don't, you certainly should, and you should go down and like this channel, Mr. James R. Burns. Hello. <laughs> Hi, mate. So I, I don't even know, I'm just out walking the dog. So this, believe me, this is him. This is Mr. James R. Burns. How are you doing? Are you all right, John? Pleased to meet you. Say How is everyone? Camera. So if you don't subscribe to him, please go down and be linked below and subscribe to his channel. He is absolutely fantastic. I know I've recommended it before, but get down there and get subscribed. This man makes sense. So, the reason we're here is because the North Peaks is not much interest, and I thought, have a quick scout around, see if we can find somewhere, and this place popped up. So Dovestone Reservoir. And so far, we have drove down, we have done a U-turn about seven times to get to the road that we need to be on. Um, the sat-nav is terrible. Um, trying to pull over on verges, do U-turns on the road. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. But uh, we got here in the end, and I'm just going to wipe this lens. So here we are anyway, we made it. And there's a nice bit of mist up on the hill. Uh, I've taken a long, long exposure shot of that. And what I'll do, I'll show that long exposure shot now. So it's starting to rain now, so that was the first shot in the bag and it might not be a good one but we thought we'd get it while we're down here and we're going to wander around see what we can find and hopefully the rain will stop and we'll get some interesting shots. So okay, let's go! So I thought with James Bean from around this area he'll know this location quite well but it turns out he's never been anywhere around the north end of the Peak District and he always goes to the lakes. So we're both kind of on a blind mission today and as I mentioned before it was an absolute nightmare getting here. It was pitch black, um, visibility was terrible, it was rain, mist and we were just missing every turn, doing loads of U-turns, it was crazy. But we're here anyway and we don't know what to shoot really, we're just going to have a wander around and see what we can get. So straight away here I'm drawn to this area because there is a little bit of foreground, there's rock interest, there's a little bit of high grass there and there's some ducks. Now don't forget the shutter speed that required to get the ducks um, frozen in the mo motion. But I'm going to have a little wander around, see what I can get, and then take a few shots from there. There is a little jetty thing here as well, which might have some decent foreground interest. Because we've got the peaks in the background, which is, you know, the mist going over, which is pretty cool. It's just working with that foreground, getting something of interest to lead the eye up to there. Oh! Okay guys, so what I'm going for here is I found this little bit of running water leading into the reservoir and these reeds here and there's also some ducks. Now like I said before, I might get blurry ducks but I don't really care about that right now. But anyway, yes, water, a bit of long grass and then there's a lot of mist now on that hill. So it's looking pretty good. I don't know if I'm getting the composition I quite want so I'm going to look around and see. But at the moment I shoot an F9 to get the sharpness all the way throughout the shot hopefully and around about one fifth of a second. Okay, so let's take a look at that image now. Doing that much talking with James, I've got to talk to you guys. So we just come up around now, so that's where we were down there. Um, we walked along, James has taken one or two shots, and then we're walking up the other side. There's a lone tree up here, and we're just going to see if we can get a composition with it. Now, it's quite nice up here. So you see behind me, there's all those um, 
all the snow on the hills, which is good. So to find out about this place, I looked on Google Earth and Google Images, and it just doesn't do it justice. It's so nice around here. It's fantastic, and there's so many possible compositions you've got to work with the area. We are a bit short on time, so we're just kind of rushing around, but look. Absolutely beautiful. I will definitely come back to this spot again and just spend more time down here. There's just little compositions everywhere. The problem we've got today is the light is very flat. It's quite overcast. There is some detail in the sky, but there's no magical light on these hills, which would have been fantastic. I think we're blessed with a bit of snow in the background on some of the hills, and for others, there's just nothing. It's nothing of interest. This will be fantastic on a day when the sun's breaking through, or for dawn when the lights, the golden lights cast on the hills. But we're going to make the most of it. And you know what to say if the weather's shite, go black and white. Okay, so. Let's check out what we can get with this tree. So me and James have decided to stop at the stream on the way back. And what it is, it's the stream coming down quite rapidly and it's leading up to the mountains in the background with the snow on. And this stream's feeding the reservoir, which is in front of us. And I'm shooting with an ASOF filter to try and capture some detail in the water. And I'm shooting at F9 still, ISO 100, just slowing that shutter speed down with the ASOF filter. I'm using both portrait and landscape orientation. So I'll show them both now. And please let me know which one you prefer down below. So the interesting thing here is, even though me and James are set right next to each other, we're both using completely different styles. James has opted for the telephoto lens, and he's zooming in on the water and on the rocks and getting the detail there. Whereas I'm going for a wide angle lens and capturing the great scene around it. So take a look at his video, the card should appear above me now, and also go to his page and check it out from there and subscribe. And just compare how the images are different, even though we're exactly the same scene. Why not comment below on how you would have taken the image? Would you have gone for the wide angle lens or would you have opted for the telephoto? Or maybe you would have went for something a little bit in between, or focus on a different detail. So I'm actually just walking a little bit further up the stream now, see if there's any compositions to be found. Um, it looks like the, the actual stream itself narrows out a bit, so I don't know what we're going to get composition-wise. There's a nice tree in the centre of the stream here, with the water leading around both sides of it. So that might make a reasonable image with the tree central and the water leading around it. I might shoot it, I might not. Now as you can see, the birds absolutely love James. Look at these! Oh, he's got the charm. So that's it from me and from James. It is indeed, John. It's been a good day, hasn't it? It's been a fantastic day. Right. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and leave a comment below. Until next time, I'll see you later.